It was back in 2000 when LG launched the world's first internet refrigerator. It was seven years later when the first combination of a, a widescreen iPod with touch controls, plus a revolutionary mobile phone and a breakthrough internet communicator was introduced. Maybe the fridge was just ahead of its time. Perhaps $20,000 was just too much to pay for web surfing, chat-enabled food storage. But now imagine that you're running a healthcare operation and your refrigerators have life-saving medication that is sensitive to temperature change. You're staffing extra people to manually check hundreds of these each day, logging the results so that you can prove to government regulators that you remained in spec. Well, this happens in more than just healthcare. Anything worth tracking or measuring makes sense to monitor. And we can use Wi-Fi enabled sensors for monitoring temperature and humidity and Wi-Fi enabled tags for tracking critical assets. The goal is to gather information. The more data gathered, the better. But each tagger sensor provider takes a different approach for their specialized situation. They have their own way of doing management and collection. And this can result in disconnected or siloed data. That's a problem when you need a way to see all of that data together in one system to provide context and understand your operational workflow. Data with context is better data. Better decisions come from better data. Better data is available through Cisco Operational Insights. Daryl will join us in the lab so we can see how this works. But first, Rob is in the lounge with Pushkar to get us started. Big data, analytics, all in the effort to do things better, uh, faster. Welcome, Pushkar. Thank you. Good to have you with us. So let's just start with the basics. What is Operational Insights? How do you define it? Yeah, so Operational Insights is a cloud-based platform which does three things. Digitizes the network and the business context. Okay. Synthesizes that data using a sophisticated rules engine. And third is optimizes operations, essentially saving customers time and money. So one thing that struck me when we started working on this show was that, especially for a TechWise TV audience, we're, we're usually very technically focused, and there's yeah. certainly a lot of technology behind this, but it was important to get across the business aspects of this. How would you say, what is your target audience for this information, this message today? Yeah, the target audience is your operations people in, in the organization. So these are uh, the facilities management, security, production line factories, et cetera. So they're mm -hmm. focused on the operations, day-to-day -day operations. And, and they want to save their company's um, time and money. Chance to step in as a hero and go, right. hey, I've got a ways. We don't always get a lot of ways in IT to, to tie things cleanly to the business, but you're saying there's a lot of value here because we're connecting some dots. Um, really, from a Cisco perspective, I think one of the things we bring to it is the idea is that we've got an existing network that we could get more value out of, especially right. on the wireless side, right? Right, yeah, especially wireless. You know, you have best-in-class wireless, the best-in-class location, especially a lot of sensors are going wireless. Uh, so you have now uh, telemetry sensor data coming in as well. And as opposed to having an overlay network and siloed management systems, which mm -hmm. comes with now, you have existing wireless network which can leverage that. And that makes it makes pay for the, um, the investment they've already made in the, in, the, in the Cisco wireless. Okay, so from a benefit perspective, operational insights almost feel like that, that almost becomes your benefit, and I'm sure you can spell out a lot more, but how about specific use cases? How can it help us ground Right. where this stuff applies. Right, it kind of goes back to the, the, the data which we are capturing and the context which we're capturing. So, uh, so broadly there are three buckets uh, of data. One is the location and data, uh, which is coming from the location of the, the wireless and Bluetooth low energy, um, uh, Wi-Fi tags, sensors, and that data which we're capturing. Second is that the sensor data we talked about. Okay. Um, so these are wireless sensors sending temperature, humidity, motion, different kind okay. of sensor. Uh, and, and, and there's a plethora of uh, IoT sensor data which potentially will come in. And the third aspect is the business context uh, and the workflow information and business okay. rules around that. So the, broadly speaking, there are different use cases around these three buckets. Um, and this goes across vertical, whether it's retail, hospitality, logistics, warehouses, wherever you have operations, the opportunity to save time and money is you know, where this is at. So, so as an example, combining those three things together, I could literally have an asset, I know where it's located, I know that it's in the correct temperature range, and I know that it costs my inventory X amount because I've combined it with operational data as well. You're saying that we bring this stuff together. Do we do it? I assume we're not making all these tags, so is this right. a vendor agnostic type of thing we're doing right. here? Right, so, so when we talk about uh, uh, the, the sensors, uh, and, and the tags, so these are Wi-Fi CCX compliant tags. Okay. Um, then there are BLE tags coming out. Uh, so all, all this, uh, and these are, this becomes vendor agnostic because yeah. uh, now Cisco, as in one network, can work across the tags from various vendors, 
and the management system comes together in one place, and now your operations are not split based on the vendor systems, but on in, in one pane of glass. Okay, so what kind of devices are we really looking at here? Because I hear you say BLE, so Bluetooth Low Energy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we work with Wi-Fi because we're talking about working with the Wi-Fi, right. the network. Is that how they divide up, or they divide up a little bit differently based on the type of data we're looking for? So, so if you really think about how this is all put together, uh -huh. so at the, at the base layer, uh, you have wireless tags. This could be your um, uh, Wi-Fi devices, okay. if, uh, phones, um, laptops, so you can et track me. Yeah. Okay. And a lot For of you. equipment is actually now becoming wireless. In a lot right. of IV pumps in hospitals. Actually, a Wi-Fi. Because it needs device. to be mobile. Yeah, and yeah. it all, all has a built-in Wi-Fi. So you're not paying for the tags, but the things which don't have built-in Wi-Fi, and you want to put a tag, you could put BLE tag, or you can put a um, you know Wi-Fi tag on it. It depends on the accuracy and the type of yeah. information you're looking for. Correct? And also, the kind of uh, vendor may have specialization based on one different sensors they may be building, and this is where it comes together as a vendor agnostic, technology agnostic platform, which works across different vendor types, different uh, device type. Uh, and even you know uh, Wi-Fi devices to to track them yeah. in one pane of glass. So your uh, your operations doesn't need to change if the technology changes or the vendor changes. So, so how is this packaged and sold? What what is someone going to look at to to take advantage of this? And what do we need to understand? Right. So first of all, the important thing to understand is it's a cloud-based solution. So it has economies of scale. All easy to get started. To, yeah, easy to get started. Uh, okay. You don't have to pay for on-prem. You just pay as you go models. It's the okay. classic benefits of cloud. Second is you pay only on a per asset basis. You don't pay on a per oh. AP um, uh, basis. If you have a large deployment like warehouse, but few forklifts you're, tr you're tracking, you don't right. have to pay for the entire warehouse okay. on a per access point basis. And, and finally, uh, uh, you know, the way we package this uh, is first of all, if using 10.4 uh, CMX, mm -hmm. you don't have to pay for the base, so the licenses, simply pay for on a per asset basis, so you reduce the cost. So it makes right. it a lot more easier to get in, um, and uh, and also from a from a licensing perspective, we have a base license and an advanced license. So made simple, easy, and cheaper to um, get started with a base license if you're really focused on real time monitoring and rules of it's your location, right? For yeah, base, you get location, location yeah. and. But not, but the operational data and the ability to look back in time that comes along with your advanced license when you step into that mode, correct? Right. So, so operational uh, so is primarily historical data and reporting, which okay. comes with the advanced. Um, uh, and and another important piece is that if you buy more, if you have more assets, right. it becomes uh, cheaper. Excellent. Anything else we need to know? Um, no. Buy more uh, tracking and understand <laughs> the value you can get out of it. Pushcart, thank you so much, yeah. uh, guys. Let's take a look uh, with Lauren in the lab and see what this looks like. Cisco Operational Insights is a powerful yet simple tool for more areas than one might expect. Let's talk about that a little bit, Daryl. Show me sure, it in a demo. Sure, sure. I'd love to show you a demonstration. So first of all, Cisco Operational Insights, its first primary screen is a dashboard. This dashboard allows you to get a really good understanding about all my assets. I could have a dashboard out to see everything in, in my entire organization, which could be throughout the whole world. So in this case, we're actually seeing 17 different buildings uh, throughout Cisco. On the dashboard, you're going to have some little individual helps that tell, show me, right now I'm tracking a total of 39 assets. Shows me where they are in different areas, like location one or location two. You can see that I moved, I have 36 assets on the third floor. Now when you say assets, what, what do you mean exactly? Well, that's the thing. Cisco Operational Insights allows you to track lots of different types of assets that have either tags or are Wi-Fi devices. Some example of these assets that can be tagged are things, uh, things like um, w uh, coolers and water mon and blood monitors, or anything with a fridge. You can tag with a temperature tag. You could have smaller tags that are attached to different devices. You could have tags which are static in location but are monitoring what's going on, such as temperature tags that are always powered on. Or you could have tags that allow you to have things like double-sided tape and be able to attach them to different assets. So as they move around, you'll be able to see what's going on with these It assets. could be my coffee mug if, if I found exactly. it missing a lot or something. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Somebody's always wondering that. And these tags can either be Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So we've got lots of different ways of gathering this data. So we could use a phone or something too then. Yeah, that's one of the important things. So many devices today have Wi-Fi chips in them. We've seen um, manufacturing devices that have Wi-Fi chips. You things like microscopes inside of hospitals, anything. And of course, every single phone and every single laptop's got Wi-Fi. And so imagine being able to uh, tag all of those assets and understand where every one of those devices are at any time. Got it. Yeah, that's, that's inventory for you. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. And so once you actually see those, I'll bring the next screen up. 
here where you actually can see here's an overhead map where I could see my lab and I can tell you, well, all the different types of assets that are right now in my lab. It gives you a little dot as to each individual asset. And as I tag each asset, as I hover over them, it tells me where they are. In this case, this is a fridge and I know I've got a temperature monitor. I want to make sure my beer is cold. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> the most important thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. So as I click onto that, I can actually find some information. It tells me the temperature monitor, what department and category. This is all information that I can add context to my individual assets. And it tells me it's been tagged and what the uh, and what the temperature is right now. In this case, for four degrees Celsius, a nice chilly fridge. But I want to know for history in some cases, and that's really important in places like um, hospitals that have to do compliance monitoring sure. to make sure that that temperature of, let's say, an important drug never goes below a certain level. So an auditor comes in and wants to make sure that you've been in compliance. With, Absolutely. Okay. And so we can look, click back here on the history tab and it allows you to say, hey, I can see where the devices are. If I click on telemetry, it actually gives me this history of how, it's, how, it, how the temperature is today. I've been uh, a nice toasty between seven and, and three degrees, so my beer is <laughs> going to be pretty good. So, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> and, and, and I imagine for the other tags, the other kinds of monitoring, there's different kinds of telemetry available then. Correct. Well. There's okay. lots of other types of telemetry. Think of in a manufacturing case, I might want to have a vibration monitor around a machine to make sure it hasn't been moving. Or if I'm in a agricultural or a uh, or humidity, humidity monitoring to make sure that humidity of an area Very important changed. for a data center too. Exactly. Yeah. People have been putting some of these tags in MDF. So think of your uh, a data center or, or, a lot, or a closet that you've got on somewhere where you've got to put some equipment in. You don't want to get too hot. Put a temperature tag in there and then you can be alert. Interesting. So let's literally focus in on some of those alerts. And that's really the next really important part of operational insights. It takes all this great data, we know where your laptops are, we know the temperature of a bunch of devices, and it now allows me to create really powerful rules. So really those rules are based on the idea of, you know, define a rule, set a certain priority of the rule, and then these are the important things, which is conditions. I can say location, attributes, a device has gone missing. So for example, anytime somebody takes that iPad that's supposed to be always <laughs> in the office right. and takes it out, you could actually send an alert on that. Uh, again, we talked about things like temperature or button presses. So if there's an important, important things like an emergency or something even uh, clerical, like, hey, this printer is out of ink. Let's put a button, tell them to press a button right. and change it. Oh, you can awesome. get those types of notifications. And so once the condition is triggered, now I have a bunch of uh, conditions, I can say filter it on, on all my assets. These types of conditions are triggered. In this case, I've got an exit alert. I'm saying for any device leaves campus, I can then have an action. And the actions, again, are set to be allow me to really create a, a, a programmatic device. In this case, I can send an SMS text message. So I send a, a, a text message every time I leave campus. Uh, but it can also do things like send HTTP notifications to make a programmatic impact as to what one a device changes. So it's not just about alerting. If, if the temperature gets too high in my data center, it's, it's 90 degrees for some reason, hey, maybe shut some things down. Exactly. With, okay. the, with the ability to send an outbound HTTP post, that really creates a programmatic response. And that really is really, that is where Operational Insights helps you take the data, grab some telemetry, and create um, an end-to-end -end operations based on it. That is fantastic, Daryl. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Better decisions and control comes from better data. Better data is available through Cisco Operational Insights. Check out cisco.com slash go slash opinsights to get more information. Even better, reach out to your account team to get started with a free 60-day trial. Thanks for joining us.